Thank you. I now recognize Representative Good from Virginia for five minutes for your questions. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, Dr. Akers, the President is misusing his emergency powers to defer or even transfer student loan debt and burden uh, generations of Americans with higher taxes for years to come. As you know, according to the Federal Reserve, some 40% of the highest income households in the U.S. are the ones who hold nearly 60% of the outstanding student loan debt. Uh, the moratorium on student loan payments has already cost American taxpayers about $150 billion or the tune of $4 billion per month. Uh, my bill, the Federal Student Loan Integrity Act, which I led with my colleague on this committee, Jim Banks, would curb the authority of the Biden administration to continue this student loan payment deferment. And I hope next year, and I expect in next year, we'll have a Republican majority, which will allow my bill to have a vote on the House floor to return some sanity to the situation. Uh, the Biden student loan scam is driving up the cost of education for America's lowest income earners and tricking students into believe, taking on more debt with the false impression, I hope it's a false impression, that they will never have to pay it back. Uh, Dr. Akers, who do you think should be required to pay a student's loans? I believe that students generally themselves should be have to pay back dollars that they borrow. I think there is a role for a safety net in our federal loan system, but I think that the benefits, the relief, the bailout should be reserved for people who are the lowest income and face the actually a, a, a big struggle in having to pay back those loans. Yeah, I think it should indeed be the student. So uh, who do you think uh, it would be right to transfer that debt to? Now, we, we hear this term forgiveness. Of course, it wouldn't be forgiven. It would just be transferred. So if a student can or doesn't want to uh, pay their debt back, who do you think that should be right for it to be transferred to? I don't think it should be transferred to anyone. Yeah, I, I, I'm continually having to educate my colleagues on the other side of the aisle on basic economics. It can't be forgiven. It has to be transferred to someone if it's not paid for by the person who borrowed it. Do you think that someone who never went to college should be forced to pay someone else's student loan? No, I do not. Yeah, I agree with you. Do you think that someone who worked their way through school so they didn't have to incur student loans, they worked a couple of jobs, they worked summers, they worked during the school year so they would, could avoid student loan debt, you think they should be forced to pay with their tax dollars someone else's student loans? No, I do not. Yeah, I don't as well. Do you think someone uh, who paid off their student loans after college, you know, they, they actually made their payments and they paid off that student loan, do you think they should be forced to pay someone else's student loans? No, I do not. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, what do you believe uh, would be the impact of transferring what's estimated 1.6 trillion, 1.6 trillion outstanding debt, estimated to be about $5,000 per American with 300, 300 million Americans or some 15,000 per taxpaying household? What do you think the impact would be to transfer to taxpayers $1.6 trillion worth of student loan debt, which I doubt would, serve, would poll very high to say, hey, do you want to pay $5,000 to pay off everybody's student loan debt per American or $15,000 per taxpaying household? What do you think, though, would be the economic impact? What would that, and also, what do you think it would do to college costs if we were to transfer all that debt to the taxpayers? Well, this is necessarily going to take resources away from Americans through other programs or ultimately drive a need for a tax increase to pay off the expense of this cancellation. My, my concern with how it affects higher education more narrowly is, of course, that it allows students to be less sensitive to the prices that they're paying because they don't expect that they'll actually have to pay back any dollars that they borrow and institutions will raise prices as a result. I think you're exactly right. I've had young people ask me who have a student loan debt, like I did when I was in my early 20s, and they say, hey, should I make my payments? Am I being a chump if I make my payments? Are they gonna turn around and forgive it? Should I, am, am I foolish if I would actually pay the student loans that I borrowed, that I chose uh, so that I could go to college, so that I could have an opportunity to earn a higher income? Uh, setting aside the moral question of you know, transferring student loan debt to non-borrowing taxpayers, uh, does it make practical or good financial sense to transfer this debt from those who owe it while we're continuing to make student loans? No, absolutely not. Without deeper systemic reform to stop unaffordable loans from being made, we'll continue to have pressure to have nonsensical interventions like a widespread loan cancellation. Well, thank you very much for answering my question succinctly. And Mr. Chairman, I yield back my last 15 seconds. Uh, thank you, Representative.